So, you just got a new trackable and you'd like to activate it. So let's take a look at how to do that on this episode of Cash Canada. Okay, we're going to start off by going to the geocaching website. So geocaching.com. Here it is, and I'm logged in already. And what you're going to do is go to Play, click on Play, and then scroll down the list and go to Trackables. Clicking on this space here is where you will discover trackables or log that you've picked them up. But that's not where we're going to be going to activate a trackable. A little bit further down on the page, we're going to look for Activate a Trackable. Click on that and you'll be taken to another page. There are three steps to activating a trackable, so let's dive right in. So our trackable right here has a tracking number and we're going to enter that into the space below. You do not need to enter the code in all caps. Small letters will do. Feel free to discover this trackable after the video. Into the next field below, enter the tracking activation code. Let's say you've received a tracking tag or a coin, but you don't know or weren't provided the activation code. What do you do? Let's take a look at that. If you look further down below the two open fields, you'll see a link called Retrieve Your Activation Code. Okay, so let's, let's click on that now. And you're going to click on the I'm Not a Robot. Okay, you're going to insert the uh, code that you've already uh, entered. In this case, I copied it, so I'm going to paste it in. And then you just click Go. So now you'll be given the lost activation code. And in this case, it's Hello. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back. So here is the trackable number and I'm going to insert hello. It doesn't need to be in all caps. It can also be in small letters as well. So I'm going to now click the green box, activate your trackable. Now you get the message on top for step number two. You've successfully assigned this trackable to your account. Your trackable number is TB9BJW5. This number is the number that you would want to use if you would like to share the trackable uh, information only and not have people discover it or retrieve it. So its current name is Community Volunteer Tag. I'm going to leave that as is. You could change it to whatever you wish. Is this collectible or not? I'm going to say uh, yes, it is. To me, it's collectible. So, for mission, pick a mission for your trackable. If you leave it blank, the mission will be to travel randomly from cache to cache. And what I usually do is I type in a short message to be enjoyed by as many cachers as possible. Please log and release so others may enjoy it as well. And below that, you'll see description. If you want to provide information uh, about the trackable, this is where you can place it. Once you're finished uh, with the description that you'd like to enter, uh, you just hit enter trackables details and it will list the activation date. You can change this to whatever date you wish. Otherwise, you just leave it as is. So March 23rd, 2021. Select the country that you're in. We are in uh, Canada. So I'm going to change that. Then you're going to change the province or state or what have you. And then you're going to complete the activation. So as of right now, this trackable page is complete. So you can uh, view it right now. So there we go the community volunteer tag. What we can do now is add a photo. To upload the photo, go to the right hand side where it says upload an image. Click on that. Click on choose file and navigate to the folder where your photo is. Click on the photo. 
click open name the photo we're going to name it tag and just before you upload the image what you could do is to make this the default image for this trackable just click on this little box and then click upload and then click view and you can see your trackable tag is on the page for everyone to see. So there you go. You've seen how to successfully log a trackable. And you can do it with or without the activation code because now you know where to find it if you don't have one. Thanks for joining us here at Cache Canada and we hope to see you again. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and give us a like if you liked this video. We'll see you again. Where will geocaching take you?